I wish we had like an intro song we could sing. Oh, we, uh, you know, I, uh, the, the podcast. Na 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 na. Intro song. Is that Sheeran? See, and then you see two. Is that a little too hype for then us? Then you just see two lanky white kids sit on the couch. I was like, "Welcome back, guys." <laughs> I don't know if it really fits. Today we're bass fishing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did, oh wait, did we do? Did we find out a name? Uh uh-uh, uh no, because no, I was hoping good. that we would have this first one up by now, so that we could get some stuff snowballing. We could get some names no snowballing from comments, people giving suggestions. But no, I had a, uh, I had, a, I, I thought of two this morning. I had a couple. Okay. Um, I'm ready. See, the first one, su- them. first one sucks. It's out of water. That uh, sucks. All right. We'll forget I said that. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know why you brought that up. Out of water. It's a, it's, it was one of the names for potentially for the podcast. Oh, that, that was we're one doing of the together. names you came up with. I thought you were just saying that. No, I just oh, don't. That's I don't know. really bad. And the other one was friends friends with benefits or buds with benefits. I thought that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I like that. Yeah. That was pretty good. That's pretty fire. Because you're always, you're always throwing a lot of sus salt in the podcast. You're saying a lot of sus, <laughs> sus things. Salt. Well, Brandon but you always feed them. Sus. You feed them I know. To me. Like, I know. if you ever just hang out with them. Yeah, and you have. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been one. Oh, gosh. You spent a couple days with him. I can't imagine what you guys have been Well, I, I have a healthy balance of Brent. I'll do like two or three days a month, and then I have to cut you gotta him off. You got to get the hell out of there. I, turn yeah. my phone, I'll I feel you. I'll turn my phone off. You yeah. Know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, all those times I. Just a certain someone gets blocked in my contact list. Well, now you have a podcast with him. So, yeah. That was a <laughs> major mistake. I think I'll get used to him. It's all good. Okay, All right, stupid. so the friends with benefits sounds pretty nice. Buds, buds with benefits. Buds with benefits. Buds with benefits yeah. Okay, buds with benefits. Yeah, and I thought that'd be good because like the only reason why we fish together is because I had a boat and I was only using you for your gar spots. So I was like, yeah, so it worked buds out. With benefits. Yeah, yeah. And that's why that's the only time I've seen you. And that's I, the only time I've time, used you though. That's I, the only time I've tried to hang out with you other times and it's always been denied. That's, that's the only time I, I want to just sense. make it clear. It's the only. It's the only time I've ever used you for anything. It's just scar spots. Everything else has been a genuine, like... Connection. Experience. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, are yeah. You j- do you recall? Just to make sure <laughs> that was the only time. No, no, just, no, all right. No, just playing, just Have you seen the two flies fly around that are made? Yeah, they're, they're almost... Because they're, they're clapping. I like crazy. Um, yeah. What? Oh. Ooh. That was close. <laughs> yeah, so on today's podcast, <laughs> today's podcast, we've got two flies and also Paul Gaffaro joining Welcome us. Welcome, Paul. Hey everyone! Everyone, it's great clap. to be here. All right, no one clap. He, uh, for Jake Juan. you're here because of why? Uh, just chilling. Yeah, just vibing. Sometimes I fly out to Texas. He flies to my house in Florida. Yeah, I convinced him to fly home with me this time. And the second I was touching ground, I was like, John, uh, let's take advantage of him. I mean, take, uh, let's bring him on the podcast. There it is. Take advantage of him being here. See, um, I knew I was here for some reason. No, Sus. no, 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 no. That's not. Uh, it wasn't like that. And but my name's just, gonna be in this title, was, isn't uh, it? No, it's just the fact that you're gonna you're gonna be here, and that's you just sh- you would be a nice guest. Yeah. To have on. You know what? We're just we're actually just gonna blur your face out, and people will just have to click to see who who we're who we're talking to. Well, actually, you're talking oh, to PC today. Talking to PC. How you doing? By the way, we spoke heavily on y'all's marriage and relationship. Yep. Yesterday, on the previous pod. And I just want to, like, now that you're here in person, I just want to clarify this: y'all are actually legally married. Yes, he, he, yeah, so we are legally married. He uh, claims we're legally no, 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 married. Did you get it notarized I in did, court? I got it notarized. He did. In, so I never court. consented. But that doesn't matter. Are His you worried because the it. marriage is on the rocks now? And you yeah, and he wants to take my money. Well, no, I did. I He wanted to sign a prenup beforehand, and I said no, because uh, I'm not about <laughs> he that. He went through with that. He <laughs> always got to get the prenup. No consent. Zero consent I didn't even marriage. know I was married to him until he told me. Yeah, but it's a, it's official now. So now my whole goal was to take a lot of his money and use that to fund the podcast. So okay, now I'm on board. With this. Okay, so I let's was kind of swinging this. for for Paul's team, but now I think yeah, if we can get some right, yeah, if we can get some cash. Cool what can here? we settle for? You think realistically? I probably got like forty three dollars and sixty seven cents in my bank. Um, so. I was thinking about taking his truck in his house. Uh, it was, I was Brent, he just got that truck. Yeah, I want to take it. <clears throat> um, it's collateral. Your husband is cold blooded. I know. It's brutal. What a piece of shit. That's where yeah, we're sitting at right now. So, marriage. Uh, oh, also, I mean, we just had a major conversation about a houseboat. Uh huh. Dude, this thing is sick. Did you see it? Yeah. 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 I don't think he's gonna have fun with code enforcement though once it gets here. <laughs> well, it's it's like a crack house on the side of his you house. See the other? He's got another neighbor who's got a okay. Piece yeah, of you see box that boat as well. Okay, so that's like the same thing, but like to preface what I we're talking about. I don't know about, about the same thing. Um, How much maybe. bigger is? 
his new purchase. Dude, that thing is taller than the roof of the house. And so th- that's big. It's like a miniature uh, house floating on a boat. No, no, no. Okay, so, so brother, John sent me what? a Facebook Marketplace post of a, a houseboat. I, I, you can't call it a houseboat. It's a shed strapped to a pontoon it's boat. It's literally homemade. Uh, yeah. And we, we called the Crack Shack, crack for shack. sure. Yeah. And crack yeah, he sent it to me. It was $8,500. Which is absurd. We'll have to throw a picture up for all the people viewing. It is an absurd price. I for talked what him down. This is. Half price. What was spray painted on the front of it? What did it say? I think two more screws. Two more screws. I think something like that, bro. I don't know. But I went and saw it. And in the pictures, I think it was the pictures were taken on 0.5. So it looks small. Mm. When I walked up to it, bro, it's like a double decker house. Like this thing is so (laughs) high. It's a double axle trailer. You have to walk on these steps to get up to the deck, bro. I mean, it is huge. I don't know where I would store that where it wouldn't cost like 500 bucks a month. I, I sent that to you. Half being, well, I would say more than half being serious because I was like, this would be a funny place to, or this would be a funny um, podcast room. Studio, like studio, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I had a stroke there. <laughs> <laughs> funny room. It would be a great studio for our podcast. But then I was thinking like realistic and like, there's no way. Like, could you imagine us being on Louisville on a day where it's blowing 20 miles an hour? Like and it's like, go, go, boom. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the Home Depot metal roof would fly off. Yeah. Is that what that is? Just I think so. I think they just clap the couple I don't even know if it's metal. Uh, I mean, smell? What does it smell like in there? Give me, like, take me there. Okay, me so there. if I were to bring you into that room, yes. have you ever smelled an octopus? <laughs> <laughs> what part of the octopus? <laughs> the inside, like the center hole. The cloaca? Yeah, the cloaca oh. of the octopus. You ever seen how many huh. things he sniffs on a daily basis? So I would no. know what that smells like. So it smells very similar to that. What's what's a good octopus comparison smell? I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with this. Uh, cephalopod. 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 That's on the money. Yeah. Okay, very similar well, to cephalopod. Well, that's what an octopus. It's the family of. Yeah, so any type of cephalopod. Okay. Uh, so it smells like. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You walk in there. I'll knock until you try it. Have you smelled octopus cloaca? <laughs> Don't know until you try it. Right, you're offending a lot of octopi right now, guys. Let's fall back a little bit. Maybe if if listen, if it's a clean octopus and they take care of themselves, maybe (laughs) it's not that bad. That's different. Maybe it's not bad. But it wasn't like that. I've never smelled one of those octopi. So, so it is. It's an unhealthy, dirty octopi. Like doesn't drink enough cranberry juice. I think we named this crack house of a boat. Octopi. I I like it. I feel like that's a good name. It's like a transformer name. Octo boat. I just octo. Puss, and then it's like two dollar signs. <laughs> that Octopus. is fire! You did that drop four lit. bins on it. So. Uh, yeah, so well, we were gonna pick it up yesterday, so we're gonna have it here today. But it was pouring rain, and oh, they he literally no. goes, "Yeah, man, uh, do you have like an air compressor?" And I was like, "No, nah, not like on hand." And I was like, "But like gas stations do." He's like, "No, no, that won't work." I was like, "Why?" And he was like, "Well, one of the tires just will completely deflate while you're driving home." I was like, it's flat. That, that's I was because like, there's probably a nail in it. I was dog. like, okay, so <laughs> new tire I need. He was like, but remember, you have another axle for this reason. So you used to still be able to get it home. I was like, not safely in the rain. Uh, so I'm going to get it tomorrow morning now. What? No. But I mean, bro, I, I theoretically. I this have is, this theory in my head, right? My flight is at what time? I don't know. Are you flying out today? Fantastic tomorrow. Oh, okay. I was like, so oh. 10 o'clock tomorrow. He's going to want to get this boat at 8 a.m. Somebody's We're missing be their on flight. the road, and I'm going to miss my flight because this tire is going to pop on the highway. Oh my gosh, I have that a would be full hilarious. story. Ready. It's already in my head. I can feel that brewing. It's coming. Right? Yeah. No, Here's that's what he's going to do. Happen. He's going to like, like, he's going to shake his hand and like, kind of like look around for anyone. He's going to toss some nails in yeah. front of the tire. And be like, all right, gonna, Paul, let's he's go. Pin him up like this against the <laughs> yeah. wheel. Oh yeah, time to leave. That's some Brenton. Sh- I, yeah. I don't know. Like, I think I can pull it. It really is that big. Like, it's huge. I'm excited for you. I, I think it's absolutely. Wow, that you pulled the trigger on this. Not very many times do I send it like Yeah, hey, you pulled the trigger on something even crazier yesterday. Oh, yeah, you're <laughs> no. way worse than this. You're about <laughs> to find out about that. That was the story I wanted to tell you. <laughs> he pulled the trigger on uh, so we're at the fish store yesterday filming a video for me. Paul, do you want to? Should we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll grab it real quick. Okay, all right. You can tell okay. your story. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, cool. Is this thing alive? No, it's frozen. Um, <laughs> all right, so. Let me, uh, bef- before you set it down, so we were at, you know Keller Fish Farms? I think so. Yeah, so it's in, it's over in Halton City, and they had these two arowanas in there. You know arowanas, obviously. Yeah. So one of them is in there. Paul was going to buy it for me for a video, and yeah. it's a $400 silver arowana. This thing is huge. It's Holy so shit. sick. And that was their two most expensive fish in there were these arowanas, right? And then there was our Jardini arowana. Do you know what that is? Uh, are they red? Yeah, so like yeah. one of those. Yeah. Way more expensive. I've never seen a one. Thousand? For, 
fourteen hundred dollars. Oh my! Never gosh. seen one for sale like this big before in my life. And we're sitting there, and I'm like, I have to buy it. So I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it. <laughs> For all you listeners right now, the Erewhon he's talking about is frozen, rock solid, now sitting on the podcast hey, desk. Let me give you a nice little sound of it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's f- dead. <laughs> Elaborate. What happened? So we, we put it in the pond with his silver marijuana, which is still in there just fine. No Come way. back from bowling, dead. $1,400? Yeah. Is it, is it, did it lose any value? Oh. From, now until, from then until now? Originally, the stock price of the pool pond was flying. Oh, when- Put everything in there. Like we were, market was up. Uh, you should buy a share type of thing. You should have named this. You should have named this Arowana Peloton. Oh, see, that would have been because <laughs> it started off one hundred and fifty dollars a share, and now it's down to eight. Yeah, that put that that that. Yeah, that he crapped the bed, huh? Oh. Just like this, <laughs> dude. Yeah. So oh if you take gosh. a gander, this so this this one was the fourteen dollar one, correct? Yes. Yeah. This is the Holy. You can Red starting to come in. Okay, I've got an idea. Half glass full. Get it mounted. Just get it mounted. You know, that and then and awesome. then hang it up right there. Or if that you, would be really really cool. That would be. Lit. He's such a weirdo with the sniffing. Sniff sh- sniff I'm good, you. dude. I don't want to smell your sniff there. On sniff there. It's starting to thaw too. I'm sniff good. it. It is. Look at it. I don't smoking. I don't want to smell a fish. I'm sure it smells. Oh, you just hit something. Oh, does someone's. <laughs> Oh, I, I, you hit my mic. You hit the... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, did I just go deaf? <laughs> I was confused. God. So, yeah, he... Uh, that's, that's him. That's he a, his died. name was Gok. He did. <laughs> I have a theory on how yeah. this fish died. I actually slept on it. Really? Yes. Don't they, don't they die pretty easily? Don't they just, like, hit, commit I mean, ear all the time? Yeah, they're not, definitely not the hardiest fish. Com- I mean, you compare that to a largemouth or something, that's going to die away before. Well, I heard that died, too. Yeah, unfortunately. All right, all right. Now, <laughs> <laughs> what's your body count today? Uh, it's a lot. It's high. <laughs> um, no, this one seriously, it doesn't make sense because actually, an hour before we put that in, we put an a silver air one. The in. The silver's in there, and the silver is like uh-huh. totally chill. I personally think the stress from the move, and then once we put it in, it was possibly like so stressed to be around all the other fish, yeah. and then was just had a like panic attack. Essentially, like you know what. That's, this is it for yeah, me. Yeah, with, with what y'all do, it even just stresses me out to watch it because I I even tried raising a bass and it lasted two months. Um, so just, and I know how fragile <laughs> I know how fragile these fish are. Like, yeah, bro, that's the thing. Like the it's a lot had, of work. We had the bass in there, which literally water. We tested it; everything was perfectly fine. It just came out one day when it's dead. Everything else is fine though. Yeah. So I it was like be internal too. I was like, all right. Yeah, maybe he had, maybe he had like threats like, a, like I, liver. Problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the liver, liver problem. Tourette's. And I don't think you die from Tourette's, bro. <laughs> uh, but no, I, uh, dude, I had no idea what was wrong, and I, I mean, I took responsibility uh, for it. He died. This one, no, I'm not taking responsibility. Did for you get day. insurance? Is uh, he covered? Blue Cross Blue Shield. Like no. I told him, take the fish back. I'm gonna try and take him back. I would. Yeah, dude, it's been like four hours and it was dead. Oh, this was today? No, this was yesterday. Oh, yesterday I got you. It was like four hours. He stands up perfect. Wow, he's really dead. <laughs> he is yeah, a, he's dead. He's my vo- my vote solid. is you make lemonade out of this. I think you get it. I think you take it to a ta- uh, taxidermist and you get it mounted. Okay. Be f- cool. And it would be cheap because it's small. Oh, super cheap. How much do yeah. you think it would be? I guarantee that would probably be 250 bucks. Yeah, about 300, 250 bucks. Easy. Really? And then you've got a lifelong memory. People do that with their of dogs. Gawk. Huh? Life- oh, of Gok. Yes, yeah. of Gok. Okay. I'm like, I thought you were asking me for something. Um <laughs> <laughs> People do that with their dogs. Like they'll get their they'll get their Shih Tzus and like their Labradors. Uh, that's mounted. a little yeah, that's a little too much. Hey, oh yeah, I'm not saying I would do that, guys. I'm not saying I would do that. I'm saying it happens. So I think this would be a little little uh, token appreciation for. for we could have it on our pod. Yeah, his memory lives on. <clears throat> yeah, of Gok. Uh, so wow. R.I.P. Um, he passed away last night. God, he's, he's thawing so quick. He's thawing really fast. Wait. The other options you, you uh, we could eat them. Yeah, this could is eat way em. off topic, but Brenton, how much would it cost for you to shave your head? How much would it cost me to shave my head? Bald. Oh, oh, the, intro a video, no eyebrows, no hair. Oh god, no eyebrows. <laughs> the <laughs> houseboat. That right now. You it's give me that houseboat, I'll do it. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah, if you bought that houseboat, I would do it. Dude, you want to go halves on this, John? Two K each <laughs> to watch that movie. I think it's no pretty. Hair. Funny. What I would. 
Dude, we get Dude, a few I'm drinks in John, it's imagine. game over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take a couple of drinks down. Yeah, I'll shave my head with you, bro. Yeah, you would. Uh, I'm, I'm just picturing, like, the third podcast being, like, it's just a, the intro clip is just a tight shot of you bald as f- Dude. The no eyebrows is the kicker. <laughs> yeah. Your girlfriend would kill you. Oh, she'd murder me, bro. Yeah. But, I mean, I'd do it for the houseboat. I think what would be funny is if instead of you went full bald, you just did, like, a bald patch, like, Right here. Like a big circle. Yeah, or you like shave your everything but the little front. <laughs> <laughs> and you gel a little curl in the front. <laughs> oh, that would be perfect. I think I'd look great. Dude, that's so funny. Oh, my God. I don't know why. Like, that wouldn't be funny with anyone else, but just I think with you. Is there any cheaper option? No, no. Can we get, yeah, can no we get anything for like two grand? Maybe like two K. <laughs> the one K each? Yeah. No. I, just, I mean, we'll give you a whole cohort cash. Maybe just like a. Dude, maybe just had bands. no eyebrows. I'll give it to you all in. It, were you like 50s? <laughs> it looks a little more when you have like 20s. Okay. We can give you 1,000 each in 20s. Yeah, you could flex on the gram real quick. I could flex on the gram. And then create to do that. Uh, an e-commerce site. Okay, all right. With your rented Lamborghini. Would, what would it take for you to shave your head? I've like a couple hundred dollars probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, like, I'm not attached to my at home like already. What am I? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Someone, someone the other day asked me, was like, like, don't you get like worked up? And I'm like, I don't get worked up at all. I have a kid now and I live, you know, with Kaylee. Like every, everything's fine. You also Nothing live in the me. middle of nowhere, dude. I know. Oh gosh. I know, dude. That is crazy to me. Oh. How, do you, how do you like it out there? There's pros and cons. Yeah. There's pros and cons. I mean, the thing is, if I lived... I mean, I, I, I did Hearst, Texas, which is not too far from Fort Worth. And I had, there, was con, there was cons, too. Yeah. I think there's a happy Just middle. Cons. And there were some pros. There was, like, DoorDash and shit. Oh. That was tight. That yes. just, Being able to walk to Whataburger, that was tight. I can't yeah, do no, any no, of that no. now. I walk yeah. a mile, and I'm still in the fields. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but the privacy thing's nice. It being quiet. Neighborhoods, everyone's super congenial. And... Mm, that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, K- Caleb and I were talking before you came in because uh, you were t- no, not twenty minutes late, forty minutes late um, to the pod. But we were. Uh, hey, you know what? You know what took <laughs> up ten of those forty minutes? Me just trying to hook up my phone to my car. <laughs> Literally, because I had I had I got a new phone. Not not for like I, I broke, uh, so I had to get a new phone, and I was like f- trying to figure out. It's an old Bluetooth interface on that thing. Okay, mm-hmm. cut me a little. F- okay. Black, right? <laughs> so it would have been 30 minutes late if I hadn't had to play some jams on the way here. So apologies, I guess. Actually, no. I'm not going to apologize. Why do I picture me. John just absolutely singing his brains out, dude? If you're alone in a car, you're definitely, like, vibing. I'm I'm gyrating for sure. I'm moving. I'm doing a lot of <laughs> movements. I don't know if it's dancing. I definitely don't sing. I, would, I can't even do that to myself. I would pay so much money to see that happen while he's alone. How about you just shave your head for it? I mean that might be a <laughs> fair compromise. <laughs> it's a deal. I mean, uh, it's 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 a it's a fair trade. No, I think. no. What I was saying though, so you know Walter, my code of Monday. Yeah. So he's highly illegal. Uh, so <sighs> I don't think he is. They're native here. No, I don't think they're native. here. No, either. invasive here. No, they're not. Like South Texas. I remember because I showed you a picture of I went to the Fort Worth Zoo. Hey, yeah, like this is really incredible, I guess. But I went to the Fort Worth Zoo, Fort Worth Zoo and they had a, a whole section of all the Texas. Um, Wildlife. They had like raccoons, white tailed deer, and they had a Kudamundi there, and they had a jaguar, but they're I no think, longer. I think jaguars the Forward Zoo is just like a big laundering money scheme, so I don't know if they're going to have the most accurate. Are you hating? Me. I'm not hating. Okay. Um, it's just a Fort Worth Zoo. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a great way for a bunch of people to hide their money. I think it's zoos in general. In general. It's, yeah, let's not. Yeah. Let's mattress not firms. Mattress firms, yeah. That's definitely. a good one. Subways. Yeah. Subway stuff. But no, no. So Why uh, yeah. are there three subways on one street? The city. Put that in perspective. There's basements and there's things in basements of subways. What the fuck? Sorry, that? well, let's circle back. Uh, anyway, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Your Kudamundi is illegal. Yeah, no, I've the, heard city, this before. the city ticketed me for him yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Yesterday was ticket. not a good day for you. No, bad, no. bad day. Wow. Wow. Horrible day for you. Yeah. Uh, Holy not shit. only that. A whole letter in the the mail saying every day I have him as a ticket. So no a, ticket way. Will co- a ticket will come today and tomorrow. How and much? the following day. How much? Um, I think it's 500 per day. You're f- kidding yeah, me. Yeah, um, but we also, from what the letter says, all the animals have to go, and I'm getting ticketed for that, and that's 500 per day per animal. What is the law that states that you can't do that? Is there something that they're citing, or are they just pulling this out of their ass? Uh, they're just saying that I don't have permits for them, which I did. They just uh, said I, I don't 
qualify for them anymore because they changed the ordinance and then they didn't grandfather me in. I think he pissed off someone. I was going to say, it sounds like you pissed somebody off. Um, no, no, no. Uh, what had happened was is someone was watching the videos and they called in and they complained. What a f- And art. said I was like abusing the animals and this and that, someone who just didn't like the videos. And they obviously are required to investigate that. So they sent down a detective and everything. He came out and said the property was fantastic and loved it. He took pictures for his wife. But uh, but because of a complaint, and then I was not complying with the ordinance, they had to do something Well, that's weird it. to me, though. They continue to pursue it. Yeah, yeah. I even got them all registered as emotional support animals. So now... Did you really? Yeah, they're all registered Jesus. legally as emotional support animals. So for my grandmother... And now, technically, I provided them with all that documentation. They're technically taking away our emotional support animals, which is against the Fair Housing Act and America's with Disabilities Act. So I am now going to take that to the news, probably. So it'll just look like cities trying to take away. Hang on, I smell something. It's probably the dead fish three feet in front of you. No, I smell a lawsuit. Uh, that's what I smell. Yes. That's, that's what I that smell. That's what I like to hear. I'll pass the bar just for you. I'll represent you. Okay, I like that. I'll do it for free as long as you shave your head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's my elaborate so, plan to get you to shave. But Walter needs to go. That sucks, though. And, and he needs to go to your house. So that is what we've decided on. Uh, All right. I mean, as a friend, I would probably do it, but you'd have to set everything up and take care of him. And we also probably have to cut this out of the podcast. Yeah. Why? You, you know, you can have him. This is a I don't. Monday. <laughs> I don't want him, but thank you for offering. But you can he legally can have him. He can stay. Uh, I see what you're saying. But then I got to deal with it. <clears throat> no, I got it. So here's my question. Is it just because of where you live? Or is yeah, it's because of where I live. Texas or just specifically? Here, this city. Uh, oh, so really? Just, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not. It's, oh, so it's like it's actually th- he can have it. No, like he, yeah, oh, he, wow. he should actually be able to have it because you're not in like a residential. Yeah, Before I that say should yes, be an issue. let me talk to my fiance. Oh, okay. Uh, no, he doesn't bother anyone. Um, no, he's pretty chill. It's a freaking raccoon monkey mix in the front yard. He's cool to see. I'm um, just saying it. I'm just saying. I don't I don't mind. I really don't mind, but I I got to I got to ask. It would just also give me another reason to see you a lot. Ooh, yeah, that is a good you, point. Maybe You might as well just say no now. What? What? Let me think on it. It's probably going to be no, but let me think on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's wow, that sucks though. Um Yeah. So you really don't have a solution to this. No, in no. All seriousness. Uh yeah, on Monday I'm going to have to call him and be like, "Hey, um give me a ticket $500. That's so petty yeah yeah every no, day it, they're gonna give you a ticket well for i'm dealing with the same thing at my house for uh structures too like, many no they just my neighbor behind me wants to be an asshole so i wow i have no problems with any other neighbor the one behind me i introduced myself super polite they started handwriting notes to all the neighbors this is a pro about you living in the middle of nowhere i mean dude but i still live in like the middle of some semi like 10 minutes from anything you have land surrounding you yes like, it's not like you're yeah up and against. like bro like don't you live out there it's literally called i'm not gonna say blank farms yeah it says farms where i live yeah. for animals like you go there to have animals this girl's so. and husband i don't know if the husband knows too much to be honest with you though um, I, uh, anyways they're in they're about structures that literally house ugly. rescued animals. Like, they're, think about that. They're saying it looks ugly, or are they saying it's... Dog, I spent just don't like thousands of dollars it. on these houses that are the size of this couch. Yeah. I built them, like, Cat 5 home. They have installation, couch is drywall. Big. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. The way I built it is ridiculous. And they just want you to tear it down because they don't yeah. like it? They want it moved, like, 10 feet to the right because it's too much... Cl- it's it's too That's crazy. visible from them for their property. You know, there's a... There's a By the s- way, I have seven-foot calusias around my entire house for this exact reason. What are those? Giant big trees. plants. We oh, don't okay. have them here. To keep it protected. Yes. Yeah. Like, you can't see in my house. Yeah. And, like, I have a 60-foot building along their fence. You can't see into my yard. And they still, they still find something to say. Do you know what that is? That's, that is that is a... They wrote a handwritten note to all my neighbors. This kid is crazy. Be on the lookout. We got a crazy kid moving in. This is when I first moved in, obviously. And then all my neighbors figured out that I wasn't crazy. Yeah. I was very polite. This is just your, and I wasn't a your job maniac. and what you, what you do. I think they expected like a Team 10 Jake Paul moving in. Oh, really? Like, oh, yeah. man. Was that around that kind of time, maybe? No. 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 Like this is very recently. Ago. Oh. Oh, you did you move? Yeah. Okay. I just bought this place. I did a lot of work to it quick, but... I was going to say, mean, I saw you building already. I'm like, holy f- 
Yeah, yeah bro. Neighbors like that just suck. The well, city is, in general, yeah. like they just want to make so much money off of you. Well, here's this is the result. It's the result of like idle hands, right? People who don't have anything to do have to find something to do. And generally, if they are a genre of human being that likes to stir the pot and cause turmoil, they're going to yeah. find someone like Brenton or Paul they're She's just gonna find yeah. a re- listen. If it's yeah. not you, it's gonna be somebody else in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Like it's gonna, but but you're this big bullseye target, and yeah. it's it's to them low hanging fruit. I hate that with people who have yeah. to constantly put their nose in. Shit and she, they're just old, have nothing else. Well, that's to just do. It. Yeah, it's, it's generally yeah. an older demographic too, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it is. There's definitely some interesting people. There was that uh, that one lady. He's got this lady across the street. She's she's very sweet, but like she's older and she's just so interested all the time yeah. in like his house. And it's just there like there are some like nice old people out there. I think yeah, she's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's just so so invested in everything. But then like the people behind him, no. Like, they, they hate everything about it. And, like, our neighbors, both of ours, like, they like to come over and see the animals. This one, they throw fruit over the fence into the enclosure so they can eat. Yeah, my other uh, neighbors feed right. all the pigs. Yeah. That's funny. So, like, I, I mean, and then you just have that one person who just hates it all. <sighs> that's tough. And that's all it takes. Like, I've spent at least 10K with yeah. the city. Yeah, well, the, like, that's... You know, I, I have to pay people to fight that. People don't so like realize you're just putting thousands forth. and thousands and thousands of dollars every single month. Every yeah. month. Like they just came to my house last time before we left. Yeah. Handed me two more letters. So are these Half people. Half the stuff they hand me is already permitted and it's done. But like when they don't, when they find like this little, oh, that post. First of all, the fact that I could spend almost a million dollars on a piece of property and then I can't put a piece of fence in without a permit is beyond me. But okay, listen, that might be the way the world works, right? So I get a permit for it. Then I have to get a permit for what gauge the fence is and how big, how tall the fence is. It has to go to, it's like, really, bro, it's literally insane. And I live in the middle of nowhere. It's like, why is They're it so? They're looking for a little tiny loophole to money, make their bro. case. Yep. They want money. That's all they care about. The county just wants money. That's it. So the town, is it the county or the town? Is it county? It's the county. Are they, are they entertaining? Are they, towny, are they entertaining all this BS from these neighbors? Or are they like, yeah. Yes, the guy's really sorry. cool. The guy that comes up to me, um, he's really cool. Like the guy huh. that I work with with yeah. it. But at the end of the day, he, he's he got to do his job, so I don't blame him. You no, know? I'm, I, is that his f- job, though, to deal with an old couple about like, I mean, because the thing is, they're probably blowing his shit up. Oh, oh yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. For I mean, sure. That's, that's just it. Like, that's not his job. Just because, like, the thing is, is, like, like if I break my arm and I go to a doctor, I'm like, well, it's your job to fix it. He doesn't have to f-ing do that. I mean, I know it's a little bit different because that's privatized, but this is, like, yeah. kind of a yeah. publicly funded deal. I mean, but he even, came up to me. He was like, hey, man, you know, I don't want to be that guy, but, like, your neighbors are just calling you left and right. I'm and like, and unfortunately, the, goes, in order to get them to shut up is if you get if you comply, which sucks. So, yeah, like, or his life is easier. I haven't when, fueled the fire once. You've not done anything. Nothing. I wouldn't. No, okay. it's not worth it. Well, so what's going to happen? What's what does it all trickle down to? Are, are they going to sue you? Trying like, to get rid of his building, all of yeah, that. Yeah, they try to get rid of my building. They're trying to get the building taken down How? right now. How? The How fish are you building. Do that? How are you going to do that? I mean, no one knows this. This is like raw. Like, yeah, yeah. You've not talked about it. Not, not once. Oh wow! Like they're trying to take the fish building that I literally just poured my soul into, and this they're not going to do it. There's no way they do it. This is all happening. And I've already got the number that they want a year in fines, like if I don't comply with whatever ha- may happen so let me put it this way the the floor the concrete they didn't have enough proof with the survey that had went through it's very complicated too much to even explain because it would bore the audience but like if i don't give them the correct evidence that this was done right the footers the blah 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 blah, blah all this bs they want the building taken down or else it's th- i mean i'll just say 36 grand a year and fines so i'm so Per so that, year. That goes to that makes That makes no sense, though. Like, it, it makes no sense. Oh, you can have it if you just pay the fine, though. And how much did it, ca- did it cost to, like, erect that, to get it up and going? I've already spent thousands fighting it. No, my point is, like, you'd be to spending $36,000. 36, $36, like I said, they don't give a shit about anything but money. If they get the 000. money, they're cool. $36,000 yeah. a year. Yeah. If you don't, in their eyes... There's definitely a way around this. I think you probably know that. I, I don't fine. know what it is. Seriously, yeah, I say it like it's it's gonna happen. There's no way. Yeah, but what's, there's what, no way that they win. There's no way. Here's here's what it is though. It's just a f- another problem. It's another. Sh- it's, it's right, bro. It's and I already have like exactly. the most responsibility I could exactly. ever want at my yeah. age. I, I said that about the yeah. animals though too. I like I never thought like I'd actually get ticketed for it. Like I was like, there's no way they'll ever actually come and 
give me a ticket and here it is. So like, I feel like wow. one of these days they'll just end up showing your house and be like, well, it's technically got to go. Um, which I, God forbid happens. Uh, hopefully you know how sketchy YouTube is too. Like we rely on that. Sh- I mean, you, oh, I say that every day. Not so much this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> say, I say that I say no. that every day, though. No, no it, it is true, though. Seriously. Like, regardless of other business, you know, ventures, like, it's I serious. Think, YouTube could click a button and you're Well, that's the thing. They, they could just stop paying yeah. you if they wanted to. Right. You know, that, that's like they a whole thing. They did that with you for the most they, part. Yeah, I would say they did do that with me for like a year and a half. Uh, like, it cut my, uh, my income in like one-eighth of what it was, uh, which was brutal. But like... It is crazy. That's why a lot of people kind of try and get something out of it. A lot of people make the mistake of not doing that. But, like, you guys, which I've wanted to talk about before, like, with Guggen, I mean, that was, I mean, set yourself up, literally. Yeah. I don't want it to be mistaken, though. I don't know if that's the correct word. Uh, but I still heavily rely on YouTube. Like, I, I mean, YouTube, it's like if, if YouTube were to go away tomorrow, I would be, I would feel like I've got nothing. Like as far as a, I wanted to know that. That that's good to know. Not not from like a financial standpoint, but eventually, yeah, I think a financial standpoint. The thing is, is I don't have just like I think all three of us. You know, like I don't have a degree. Not saying you need a degree. Um, I am in a sense like a one trick pony. So like, yeah. what I do is I make videos, I fish, I create content, I storytell, and without that, that's what you're good at. Like I took a couple weeks off, and I'm I. You I'm see the hit. Go insane. Yo, I yeah. see the hit. Yeah. Oh, foremost. yeah, I'm sure. But mentally, too, I'm like, I got to be doing That's something. That's me, dude. I, I don't have yeah, to be doing stop something. Creating I, I've stuff. never been able to take over like four days um, or else I start having like a panic attack. Yeah, you two especially yeah. are always on top of your like Trains I, your body, bro. Like I'm, it straight up trains your body. Yeah. yeah. But it also ruins like a, a lot of family and friendships. It makes like, it difficult. I don't want to say it ruins. It um, take, makes it difficult, though. I would yeah, say. I, I'm sure all of us have, have had that happen before, but... Dude, how are you wearing sweatpants right now? Oh, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I didn't realize... I garage. didn't realize... I could have turned the air conditioning on. I just I didn't realize that, that Brenton had this room set at uh, tropical rainforest temperature. Yeah, he's got an exotic fish right there. Yeah. Yeah, so. I feel like it feels great. It's fine. Dude, this man and his heat. I can't do it. Oh, does he keep his house hot? Both of them. That guy behind the freaking light over there, Jaquan. <laughs> hey, how much to shave your beard? How much to shave your beard and put it on his bald head? <laughs> That's more super like glue. It. I onto, would do that for free. Onto Brenton's bald head. <laughs> no, I would do no, that. No, but seriously, these guys with heat is ridiculous. I'm in the truck, 85 oh, degrees. Oh, John, cranking. you have my AirPods. You do. I left them in your truck, which you didn't bring your truck. I didn't bring I my truck. I was really hoping I could go in there and grab them. But They're safe. Didn't. I haven't touched them. You, uh, did you see them? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay, all right. Those things are full of earwax. Don't let them lie to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he... I don't clean my ears. Cake those babies up. <laughs> I, don't, well, I don't need to now because I used your earpods. No, ear great. Pods. <laughs> no, but other than... I mean, you guys were just in Maine, which I was supposed to be in Maine with you the whole time. We talked about this in the previous podcast. I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to be in New York with you. Uh, you do this with you? Make you feel guilty for not hanging out with yeah, him? Yeah, he what? was supposed to be at Blake's baby shower. Never showed up. Paul was supposed to bring me, and he forgot to text me. Why so is that, that my responsibility? That was Paul's fault. Paul, listen, it's not, man. If you need someone to talk to you after this podcast, thank you, sir. And we can discuss. Yeah. What is this? What is this? With uh, Brent in another room. Name? What is it like? Uh, so go on. You were saying how I didn't invite you to Maine, which I did, but no, you no, were too no, no, no. to buy a plane no, ticket for. I didn't say for. you didn't invite me. I said <laughs> that <laughs> you told me. <laughs> you told me that it would be better to not spend the money and then go in November. If I would have known that you were spending five hundred dollars a day just to have a coup to Monday, that money could have gone towards a plane ticket. Okay, that started yesterday. That, that also started didn't yesterday. make any sense. I don't want to. Sorry. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, and I just wanted to know how like all the musky fishing went and all that. You know how it went. I'd Did like you for you to video s- on YouTube. I'd yet? like for you to tell. Anyone, you know how everyone. it went. It went sh- yeah. fishing. It went very sh- fishing. Fishing, bro. Yeah, f- it was real Fish? fishing that day. Fishing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big difference. <laughs> okay, seriously, let's get to back to the, this topic because this right. is perfect to go to it. No, 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 it leads right to this. Okay. That is the biggest reason why I started doing what I do. And you're smart for doing that. Yeah. I seriously, that is the biggest reason. I loved fishing. I was just as much into it as you, you know, Caleb, everyone here. Yeah. I loved it more than anything. I, I still do. I still go out, but I don't hold the camera do you, doing it. Do you feel like you have uh, less variables? I feel like I know the what answer. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, with fishing... 
we were talking off like less off pod. Yeah, but you don't have to. I mean, you're relying on the fish to well, the, eat. The, yeah, that's what I hated. Is right. I would go out or weather to be good. Weather to be yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. You have to catch something. You have to catch something to make an entertaining video. And to, honest, it, to me, it just got old. Yeah. I was like, dude, I've done this just so many times. Like, no. to and then the fact that you can go out, spend hundred and fifty dollars on gas, all the tackle, oh, yeah. all the time, yeah. all this stuff, and then you could a full day, right? And YouTube's very like, you got to post yeah. every other day. Like, you got to be on your. Some, some, sometimes there's 12 hour days. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Literally. And then you yeah. guess what? You don't catch it. Just like you just said, format the card, Kayla, before we did this podcast, because yeah. you just literally can't use any of the footage. <laughs> nothing. It's all you saw. So I always thought to myself, like, dude, I'm spending all this time, hours and hours and hours. Yes. Granted it's fun, but I'm at the end of the day, now I got to get a normal job if I'm not making content. No, but so I, I guess technically went out of my way and dug a pond. And then you, that well, was just like, well, you also have to look, I mean, we have our own thing. Like, look at that. I mean, that's, part of what we have going on of um, mm-hmm. gawk uh so things like that happen but like yeah but there's stuff like that in everything but but then again like john for fishing i mean you get to travel like the world a lot of our content we could just rely off staying home for the rest of our life um true to film most of our content. i will say there's there's a and then i don't know if this is true it's more of a question uh, a couple things what you said yeah i mean that's one of the reasons that's su- that's one of the coolest things well i think it was a good choice probably to get out of fishing yeah and, and, and i noticed not to take any of this you know like, oh, I, I, I was first to do it. But, like, I noticed everyone that was in the fishing game zoned onto that pond vibe. Yeah. Like, everyone. It was, it was, do, you feel like, do you feel like it was an easy transition or was it a slow burn? For me, it? it was easy because I yeah. was so small. Yeah. For you, it was probably harder. For Flair, it was it would probably be a little weird harder. To switch gears right now. Yeah. 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 It would be actually. Well, you guys, but you make the pond videos, is what I'm saying. Uh, they don't like, do very good. Some of them do. I, I, th- I disagree. I think, I think you, you would, it would do really well if you did it a little more. And let me be honest with you, I like that about as much as I like like jamming a toothpick in between my big toenail and my toe. And yeah, so you did enjoy the fishing content more. I, I hate yeah. to say it. You but were born it, for that. But though, but the, look at your content. Yeah. But what's weird, though, is I know, I'm not ignorant to the fact that I can go, I have a pond in my backyard, right? Yeah. I've spent a lot of money. Redoing it. Redoing it. Yeah. I can go there and film a video in four hours. Yeah, probably get maybe 120 something thousand views. Yeah, you know, at the minute if, if it does good and if there's something that happens or whatever, I got a good idea. Maybe it gets more. I can do that. Play it safe. Three hours, four hours. I'm not ignorant to that fact. But for whatever f- reason, I still hook up to the boat. Go four hours north because you're not proud of that south. content. Well, I don't know if it's that. I just I think it's 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 maybe maybe it's yeah maybe it's that maybe it's not that I'm proud of the. I'm not Maybe as you know, you're enthusiastic. Capable, yeah, you're capable of making a crazier video that has a story behind it Maybe. instead of just walking into the backyard yeah. and, and doing that. I don't See, think yeah, I know. What we do is more aware of, of it. What we do is definitely more of a vlog. Uh-huh. It's more like, oh, you know, we're, this is our day. Come along for the journey. Have fun with us. And Th- that's what make saying. jokes and stuff. Like, I've talked about this with Brandon there's before. There's so much more going on in sometimes your all's videos because you have control. Even something like this. Okay, so let's compare this dead fish in front of me like with something I tried to film yesterday. We didn't catch a fish yesterday. The video is not happening, but you know you're anticipating this fish to live for a couple of, well, I mean, years, literally. Yeah, so it didn't happen, but still a video. It's still a video. Yeah, now it turned into the video from buying my That's dream fish to buying. Uh, this is my most expensive mistake I've see, ever. See, that made. was that. That is the part that appeals to me the most. It's the time. It's it's you know not saying well, you, you guys don't put say. any less or more no, time no, no, exactly but yeah. it is time you have more control but regardless you get that video yeah you, yeah. Know, you see what well, I'm you have a higher yeah. chance of getting the only, the thing, video the only thing that would what kill it is what what would kill the video uh kill a video is L- uh mike going out sd mike card out, formatting uh, so or something. i filmed a video in slow-mo the other day whole video <laughs> that's <laughs> 120 not, an that, entire video that's not that bad you can still do something with it i was in a a plane video. The plane video. Really? Everyone that's listening right now, the plane video, that was the second time around. Oh, Jesus. Thank gosh, when I was in the plane, I filmed on my iPhone, so I never had to redo the iPhone clips, which was legit. But if you notice, in the video, I pick up the trap in a boat oh. because I threw the trap Dude. in a plane, and Does I had to go pick it up in a boat because I needed... Where's your, is your head, where's your head at when that kind of happens? Because you've been doing this for a minute. Are you like... Or do you really go into dark nope. place and you're like, eat I that just, shit up. You I love just, it. I, shoot, I'm like, fuck, Fuel to the slow fire. Mo, I'm like, all right, bet. Fuel to the fire. I go right back the next morning. Nice. Bang it out. Nice. That's healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Some it's, people, some people. I actually people. utilized a lot of the slow-mo footage you would never notice, but I did. Yeah. I sped it up to normal speed and then I would just overlay voice. Yeah. Works. Yeah. Hey, dude, you yeah. Got a good yeah. video too. The video did good. Half like, full, got a McLemonade. 
I mean, I just look at things like you're going to sit there and, you know, be sad about something that literally cannot be changed. Like True. that footage is not going back to normal. There's oh. no audio. Yeah. It's there's no it's not like I filmed it in slow mo that has audio. I can't even slow there's no audio. Well that was one of the biggest oh. things. Yeah. I was, gonna say, well, I, I was so confused. No, no yeah. audio. No. When yeah. you film in slow mo, it has that? no audio. The same one you got over there. I don't think it's the exact same Did one. Did you film it in two forty? One twenty is a good no, audio. No, he films in one twenty. Yeah. That's an A seven S three. Cuts the audio out. That's what I don't have the S. You have the flip screen. Ah, okay. Yeah, A seven three. Yeah. Uh, no, but I mean that that was the same concept with this. Like it it uh it happens and what are you gonna do about it? I mean you can either be like super sad about it or just kinda make something. Yeah. I mean like, that's yeah, that video killed it. I was like that's what, saying, that's what a lot of it ends up coming down to. But the like our not catching a fish version is like things like the mic going out and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. that's the worst. Uh, which happens. I mean I mean, dude, I've spent a big, big amount of money on fish, right? Like, in a lot of time. And, like, I'll get home and the video is just scrapped. Mike was... The whole time, I'm like, yep, that's completely... And, Which you, can't, and you can't really, like, return the fish, then do no, the whole no. process. Which I'm sure well, you guys have had that problem, then, seriously, too. at that point, it's not even authentic, so I just scrap it. I I'm mean, like, with, like, yeah, golf... When what am I going to go there and fake my reaction when I see the <laughs> fish? You know, again, like, I just bought that thing all the way home, and then I put it... Then it also puts the fish through a lot of stress. It's like, it's just not worth it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you guys have had similar problems. Like literally, when we were gar fishing, I mean, GoPro mics and yep. audio and stuff. Well, was that's going just out. it. Like that. Yeah, and that happens. That's streamlined across all of our genres yeah. right now. And then you add other elements and variables, and it's like, all right. And you know, it's a part of it. Like that kind of shit happens in anything that you film. Um, nope. <clears throat> so I don't know. I think. I think. Well, I don't know. I will say, I, I definitely was a little bit closer to filming content, like having a little more control early on, maybe like three years ago when I first, four or three years ago when I first yeah. moved to Texas, because I would just go out to ponds and sh I used to and probably still can, but, you know, I'm just trying to do a different, I'm trying to fill a different void maybe with YouTube. Uh -huh. I would just go out and film a little, like, pond video, and it would do good. But yeah. then if I f that up, if I had a mic problem, I would just go back the next day and, and go right back to this. Yeah, where, do you, where do you see yourself in, like, five years? I no idea, dude. Where do you see yourself? Answer that in the best way possible. I'll, I'll, you okay. know, I'll go after you. Because uh, I'm curious to hear your answer. I think probably, hmm, I don't, I don't know if I'll be doing YouTube yeah, anymore. I don't know if I'll almost be almost a six year old daughter. This is crazy. We literally, we literally just talked about this. I think, I, I think, you know, I, I can't give you a specific answer, but I yeah. think, generally speaking, I will still be doing media in some sort. I will still probably be doing something that relates to the outdoors. Whether it is from a product standpoint, whether it be from, like I said, media, video, whatever. Yeah. Um, this I, podcast. I, I got to Yeah, this podcast. Yeah, this will be a big key player in five years. Yeah. It's like Roman Atwood. His podcast is amazing. Yeah. And he, and he was just talking about it. One of his podcasts was like how he's been doing the YouTube thing. He feels like he mastered it. He aced it. He did what he could. He, he maxed out. And then the podcast was like that new spark for him. Mm. And I yeah. I relate to that. We can relate very lot. well to that. Yeah, yeah, not that this is my podcast no. at all, and I Too still smart. enjoy making the regular. Yeah, content. So you feel that you feel that new energy. I, I no, I, I guess you don't. I I see like what he means. I don't feel the way he feels, but I see the way he, what he means. Like I could see exactly what he's talking about. I can't tell if you're being serious right now. What did he say? Are you being serious? <laughs> the way you looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> he was well. He was saying that he was saying that uh, he feels that. He was comparing this spark, yeah, similar to Roman Atwood's spark. Oh, I don't think it's <laughs> at all similar at no, all. This man's hooked to making content. Considering uh, that Roman Atwood's been on the on the platform forever, but I think yeah, I would like okay, I would like to find something that gives me a spark. Oh, yeah. this doesn't. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I'm no, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. I actually get really excited about this. This morning, I looked at. Uh, I was looking for music to play for like before, like leading into the podcast. I got a song. To hook. I got it. I already got it. Don't worry about it. Brenton, Bro, where do you I want to use my kid. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, man. I mean, I don't know. I love making content. Like, say YouTube were to to cut ties with all creators on, like, a revenue standpoint. Like, not just not pay people anymore. Because I'm sure they could still function if they didn't do that. Yeah, they'd lose a lot of people, but I'm, I'm sure they could find a way. I mean, I would still probably create content. I enjoy it. Like, I enjoy... Uh, storyboarding a lot more than anything there was a interesting thing i was asked the other day uh so a lot of people will uh you've probably heard this sell sell their content right 
Have you ever, you ever heard of people do that? Or elaborate. Like, what do you mean? So they'll they'll sell their content to companies, um, where companies can so forth make money off of it. That that's happened. You to sell a, the copyright. You you sell, sell the copyright. Yeah. So they'll they'll pretty gotcha. much you know pay you to sell content. And recently, I was talking to a few people, and this is like our life's work, right? Mm-hmm. And money aside, like we've put pretty much everything into creating this, like this, not a channel, but like an audience who understands most of our entire life. And I recently realized that a lot of my old content, I would be okay with selling, which I don't think is a good thing. And that was, huh. that was something I, I, had, I was brought up so and you, you, you were given the opportunity to sell. I, I was, I was given the opportunity to sell my content. And the fact that I was okay with selling a lot of my old content, I was like, man, that means like, I'm, I'm okay with like selling a lot of my life's work huh. in return for money. I want to start now creating content where I look at it and I'm like, that is like the gar video we made. Yeah. I mean, that was like a 36, 33 minute video I where the, a lot of time there on. was storyboarding and there was, I mean, we had like a, like there's almost like a call to action, you know, like in the video, it's different with these like little short skit vlogs. And I look back at it and I'm like, I mean, do I really want this video that I titled my girlfriend was in bed with my best friend like that I have yeah. on my, like, do, I don't care to about that. Yeah. Right. Like I, I get that. I got videos like that where I could give two sh- if YouTube deleted them. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I made that video in like five hours, posted it same day. And then I was just on to the next, the Gar video yeah. completely different. And so were many other videos that I've done recently. Mm-hmm. So, so I want to still be, uh, be creating content in five years um, and not really trying to worry about the money aspect of it. Cool. So I'd love for something like Hannah. It, com- it comes naturally, though. I don't yeah. know. If, I mean, I wanted to make a job out of it, but I don't know if I made YouTube videos expecting it to be a long term, at least as long as I've gotten now. You yeah. Know? I don't yeah. Know right. If- so I, I think I don't think anyone expects it. Honestly, it just happens. Down. It's like Fuck a snowball down. effect. There's no. some people that say that that like, oh, this is my plan all along. I'm like, what the f- no way, bro. I did this was totally on accident. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I had so no I, idea you could even get paid from it. I, I, I just oh. did that. It was so much fun making those videos back in my parents' backyard. I yeah. was probably making like s- it, I made like 60 videos before I realized like YouTube had a monetization. Yeah, I made like feature. four bucks the first month, maybe like 14 the next. I could go back and. Do you look. miss those days? Um, I miss the way I felt. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's so what I, I would miss definitely those days because obviously growth is great with life, but I miss the way I felt. Like I I had uh, the juvenile stages of your YouTube yeah, channel though, like yeah. it being very exciting. Like, well, dude, there was no one doing it. Yeah. No one. Yeah. Now there's no. like everyone. Dog, there was it was literally five of us. I don't even think I knew him yet. It was me, raw fishing, catch them all. When did you start? What year? <sighs> like 2016, 2017, probably. Six years ago. Jesus Christ. Like, it was me, catch them all, raw fishing. That's it. Uh, I feel like I'm leaving a couple out, and I'm sorry if you're watching. Yeah. But, like, like, oh, no, f- you. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, seriously, it was very, it was, a, it was not many of us. Wow. Blake. How do I miss Blake? Yeah. Sorry, Blake. Um, you know, it was a very small portion of us, and then we were the only ones doing it. So it was, it was so fresh, bro. Everything we were doing was like, no one's ever seen. Yo. Now, Good lord, this fifteen. It's saturated. Oh my yeah. goodness! Yeah, same thing I, with granted, fishing. I just watched something about Mr. Beast talking about oh, it. it. I was really, about to say it doesn't. You, it doesn't affect yeah. us other creators. Like some creators are like, "Oh, these kids are d- copying you. Are you mad, Paul?" Like, no, because at the end of the day, like as long as they're going to share information, like, "Oh, I found this out," which they're not going to. Yeah. But like, if they were that per- person, like, it'd be dope because then we wouldn't make the same mistakes. Mm. Yeah, you know I, what I'm trying to it's say. It's more of an environment to bounce things off of. In other words, yeah, like if me and you are homies, right? Yeah, and you you figure something out on YouTube that really screwed you over, yeah. like, you, and you tell me, then I won't get screwed over, vice versa. Hmm. So if you have a team of people, like six different creators, even though they're doing the same shit as you, you they're all doing of? the same thing. No, no, that's why I said it really doesn't relate to what I'm doing. But, okay. but like, I mean, in this case, if I ever run into something, vice versa for me and Brenton, we always tell each other. Did you notice this? The longer yeah. video stuff. Yeah. Like all like. We realize stuff like that, you know, with the algorithm, and, and like, well, obviously, call each other and yeah, and have and like an hour-long conversation about how the algorithm's changing and like the thumbnails change and like all this stuff. But then, like, I, I also think like someone could make a video just like mine, and then, like you were saying, like my audience isn't just gonna stop watching me because of that. Yeah, it's it not. It's not hurting. They me. watch you, you know. And, oh, like it, it. it at at the end of the day, it just kind of is what it is. Uh, so, I went. I I'll go back to the five-year plan. Um, Jeez, in five years, that's a long time. 
I feel it'll like be, creating a dope. company is a big thing. Yeah, that's my, mentioned I think my number one biggest thing. I would love to actually chat after the podcast about random that I have on my mind, you know? But um, Well, that was one of my biggest things a lot of connections. That. That's big, too. I have I, connections? Yeah, dude. Come on now. What do you think you're sitting next to? I have no connections. You got connections. You just don't know it. I probably don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably Guggen just squad don't know it. Is, no, Guggen Squad is not as big as it is without the connections. There's some. Yeah, I would say there's definitely... There, I would say it's... People that you just meet, and it happens naturally too. Yeah. If, for, if things are too forced, and you can get away with that, but I think if things are too forced, then they become hundred uh, percent disingenuous. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. They don't work. It just doesn't work. It happens. It's definitely yeah. not as enjoyable. It happens though. I mean, there's some people that like they work that game, and bro, it's crazy watching all you boys be that successful so fast. Like it's it was like a movie in real life. It was. Yeah. It was crazy to see too. I mean, I it, it to me it felt like a slow burn though. Like it was well, of like, course, you guys were hustling, bro. Yeah. Well, it was it was that, and it was just, uh, I mean, it happened, like, it happened. I mean, I look back at videos, I'm like, the f*** is that kid? <laughs> and what yeah. the f*** is he saying? Yeah, but um, we all say that about our old content. Yeah, but this is different. Well, and I'm not going to say it's different, but I, I, it was just especially interesting for me because I, I, I know where I was at at di- different, yep. like, what was going on. Uh-huh. And I was like, I never would have done that. But yep. then, But then that was only two years ago. Yeah, so I see myself definitely wanting to start a business. Obviously, I'm into the real estate thing already. Like, I've spoken yeah. about that multiple times. You've got a like, good foundation for that. Yeah. No yeah, doubt. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm waiting on the market right now to do whatever the f*** it needs to do. But I don't think you have to wait too long. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 definitely not. Um, But, you know, I got some liquid. I'm ready. I'm, you know, I'm, I want to get into some more properties and start renting them out and have nice. that cash flow. Yeah. Um, that's my biggest thing. I want to get enough property to where, you know, if YouTube did say, goodbye then i was good and right now honestly i'm, I'm i wouldn't say i'm good but like i'm pretty solid dude like yeah. you know and that's i love real estate for that reason it's just such a backboard it's nice to have there's so i no, see myself no bad, doing a lot of that there's no better investment I don't think. no definitely not. yeah right that, that's kind of i see myself doing a lot of that in the future a lot of that that's probably would be my main thing it's like you know house to house bounce and make sure the tenants are good would you get, like, would you get your uh like license too? no you, no you wouldn't have no interest you don't think that would help though i just don't have no interest uh. I like I not like, from a monetary, but I mean, it just in general. Uh, maybe yeah. for the information. Yeah, side I would of say it. that'd be like but, a good but information like, side of things. Seriously, like I just I love what I love to do is I got my guy Hector. Yeah. I love buying like houses and just flipping them. How long like, does that take? Two months. That's not bad. No, no. And he does it, or do Dude, you get contracted? Bangs it out. Nice. Yeah. Shout out to you, Hector. Hector. Hey, he does a great job, Hector. Hector's a stud. Hector yeah. the hammer. He's got a couple guys that come with him, and then obviously I bounce in and out buying material. So well, I'm not just not a part of it. That's another great thing I love is, like, I'll work on my YouTube videos, and throughout that I'm I'm running back and forth to Floor and Decor and Home Depot, and, like, yeah. I'm making all these purchases, and, and and then that's how I flipped. Like, the one house I got, that that was a crazy flip. You bought, you bought it uh, when the market was right, and you Dude, sold it when the I, market was right. my real estate agent found the house – as the girl was putting the sign in the grass out front, no sh- she calls me. I'm like, tell her to put the sign back inside. No way. I was like, There's that's a movie, bro. That's yeah. something out of a movie. Yeah. She put the sign back chills. inside. I pulled up the next morning, bought the house. No way. Yep. And you made a nice return. Dude. Fat. Yeah, I haven't even got the return yet because I haven't committed to one. I keep I keep slacking, not going to oh, lie. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a lot, I, had one, I had one close for, I mean, dude, I could say numbers, right? I mean, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't care. I yeah, don't think yeah. Anyone like th- I bought the house for four hundred fifty-eight grand. Yeah, uh, and granted, I do not have that liquid. Okay, that's yeah. finance. <laughs> yeah, um, but I got to put a good amount down. You know, twenty-five percent down. I put forty-four thousand. Damn, twenty-five percent down. That's yeah. What's up? Put forty-five grand into renovations in two months. Interest rates, interest rates were low, low at that time. So low. Yeah, well, I think much 2.9. better. Because they're yeah. so high, right? What are they like? Eight percent almost. Oh, now? Getting, yeah, getting and they're started. they're still going oh, yeah, too. They're moving. Started. So I renovated the house, and yeah, I got it appraised. It's like seven hundred k. Holy. F- yeah. <laughs> so you made almost, uh, wow, double that. Uh, two two fifth two and change, and then you know your down payment comes back to you. Yep. So I I leave it with three hundred and wow three fifty. Wow, and that in two months. That's nice. In two months, how much money did you invest afterwards into rebuilding and all or that? Did, or did it need any work? No, that's I put forty forty four and okay, change. So for, well, okay, I see what you're saying. So forty four and change. That's material, labor, everything. Beautiful, and you enjoy it. That's what's important about Dude, it. Dude, there's yeah. nothing more fun. Nothing. Yeah, see, nothing. The thing I seriously some, beats YouTube, beats everything. Yeah, like that's what fuels it though. It it's seems. so much fun. Like mm-hmm. I'm, and I have such a creative brain with 
uh, decor like decorating. Yeah. I love it, dude. Like I just go in there and I'm like, I see everything when it's as it is. And then I take pictures and I love seeing the after. It's like one of those flipping shows. Yeah. yeah. It's so yeah. fun. HGTV. It's so fun. But that was my biggest return. That was crazy, bro. That Two is months. Huge. Maybe it was like three or four by the time I actually was on the market, pictures taken. Like, uh-huh. And I had it under contract right like a week before it was closed. Uh, they bailed on it. That is and gross. I was like, damn. So I ended up holding onto it and I still have it now. And it just, So I haven't got that return. What's so weird is like that was... I do have it in equity. Right. You have it in equity. Yeah. And how long did it take to accumulate that equity? I mean, it's like how... So what was the time frame? So you bought the place and then how It's long? gone down now because the market. Sure, whatever. But... We're yeah. not going to talk about that though. No, that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's not important. If we want to get depressed real quick, yeah. just talk about the market and what it's doing. No, the cool thing about a house, though, is like a big savings account. Like yeah, we're it's, dude, it's massive. That, that's what it sucks is. about Every renting. single mortgage payment. Is that's just what sucks about renting all the time because you're you're just paying off someone else's house. You know? Yeah. One of the cool things about once you finally do own a house, when you're paying it off, I mean, you get that money back. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just it's just like putting it away it, from it, you so it, you can't very, spend it. I see he's got a good uh, brain on him from real estate, too. Like he, I talked to him about. Are you it wanting to get bit. into that too? Yeah, yeah. I w- I would love to get into real estate. There was a few houses I almost because I need to get my own house first. I just turned the legal age to like buy a house. So there's a legal age. To buy yeah, a house. you have to be 18 to buy a house. Um, because you have to have credit. You're 19. Yeah, I'm 19. Oh. I turned 19 not long oh, ago. Gotcha. Um, but the market's been so bad Dude, for so long. The- yeah. You just turned 19. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I turned 20 in a few months. Yeah. Wow, dude. Um, the age gap here. You guys are married. This is weird. Yeah, I don't know how yeah. old he is, and he says he's married to me. <laughs> Can you Jesus that? Christ. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another podcast. What were we talking Bye. about? We are talking about real estate and where we'd be in five years. Yep. We all gave that s- gem, and then you said, yeah, I got something to pull out of my ass. I'm going to drop a out. gear and disappear real quick. Um, I like that one. I'd like to see that. How's your cars doing? Cars. One is running. The other one needs. Lexus is down the drain. Total. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What happened to it? Nothing. It just needs new uh, coil packs. It's always something. It's like dude. a $50 never, part. Never ends. Dog, when you come to Florida, I'll take you for a ride. In the car. Ah, I need to go you for a ride. You will sh- your pants. I probably will sh- my pants. He Ask said Brenton. he sh- his pants. Jake yeah. No, it's, it's, it's insane. I'll bro. bring my... Uh, I mean, he's got a C63 in the driveway right now. Really? Yeah. It's not as fast as yours, though, dude. And it's much older. Well, age don't matter, man. That's what I'm saying. You ever hang out with a MILF before? That's like... Oh, you built me, you beat me, too. <laughs> yeah. you beat me too. That's like, like that's like the milfier version of yours. No, I know. That's the, I love the older ones though. They are cool. I do too. I like I like the um I like the wide body. The people that's what I was gonna say. The body style is sick when I went out there. The wide so body's different. nice. People you just gotta put f- just build it. Nope. Why? Because it depreciates it. That's the whole point of buying a fucking car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This one's a little more of an investment. There's if only, there's only I mean, 500 granted, of these. Granted, there is a lot of cars that you could buy as an investment. Not, I, that could be taken the wrong way. A C-class? A C class. I love building cars. That's yeah. just me. Yeah. So like, I would love to. I love. I would love to build it, and I would love to put a bunch. I mean, the thing is, there's a there's a beauty of that being a naturally aspirated. One hundred percent. I bought that car. Your car was already, you know, it I, already I, had. Dude, schools. I had no intentions of of an investment. It was the dumbest thing from the start. That's how my Lexus is. The dumbest oh, thing. Wow. That's how my Lexus like is. It, the dumbest investment, the dumbest money pit. It was. I'll just stick with my truck. So after hearing all of this. Oh yeah, good idea. No, I got a lot of stupid investments, bro. I own. This is not a flex, but this is honestly whatever the opposite of a flex. It's like a financial mistake. Crisis. Mistake. I own eight cars, eight vehicles. Where are they? And how many boats? And I own five boats. I have. Can I ask you something? Can I ask you? Something? I have an airboat. Seriously, let me ask you something. I have an airboat. Seriously, seriously, have an airboat. How, how many feet do you have? Of penis. Jesus. That's what I was going with. I was going to say, I don't know if it... Sorry. Got, maybe got, he's rubbing off got, on me, bro. Got, he is, <laughs> he's bro. He's rubbing off. <laughs> you got two feet and two arms. How the hell you use eight cars and five boats? The you cars know. I could understand because you, you have a different one for every day of the week. No, the cars don't make any sense because I can make money off the boats. Dude, I don't get that. Uh, it's okay. I don't get it either. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't... Just kind of I'm not saying it because I'm not trying to convince anyone here. It's, <laughs> it's a f***ed up thing. Here's, here's from my point of view. I genuinely love cars. I love... Everything from a, f-ing, you know, uh, a Lexus V8 inside of a Miata all the way to an overlanding Land yeah. Cruiser. I, I love every f-ing car. I love exotics. I love cars. I don't. I'm not going off on a tangent. I don't want to talk about cars, but I love cars. Yeah. I've got like, I got, a, I got two Overlands. One's f-ing probably gonna get totaled. 
progressive. I'll be reaching out to you recently or in here a little bit. <laughs> I got a forerunner that's just my around whatever vehicle. And then I got two coupes. One that one is an investment. It's a you know black series Mercedes AMG, and um, then Kaylee's daily, and then my daily, which is a truck. But anyway, the thing I was gonna pull out of my ass because I don't want to get on top of cars. Uh, but one thing I want to talk about is the other. So not the other. There's like a there's no way I just caught that fly. No, let me see. Is that on video? Put that was mouth. pretty crazy. <laughs> no, you didn't catch it. I thought mm, I man, did. Man, I got stoked. I thought I, I, I was. I was actually. I. I'm disappointed in myself. Okay, I really yeah. What was, I it, what was it? Anyway, he's sorry. still here. You can get him. I'm gonna catch him. Um, the other day when we were driving back from gar fishing. Yeah. Uh, which I also won't get into. Please, <laughs> please don't. I don't want to relive that. But we were we were super <laughs> bored and uh, we were trying to think of a we wanted to listen to a podcast. Yeah. And one of the podcasts we listened to listened to was this kid, and I don't remember the oh name. Oh my of the, gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't remember the oh. name of it. <laughs> Bro, I completely forgot about this. Uh, I'm going to start crying. I know the name. <laughs> should, I, should I say the no, name? I don't, okay, okay, I don't want to say it. So there was a, we listened to this podcast, and the name of the podcast by this kid, it was just him. It was just a singular kid in this podcast, but it was naming every Paul Gaffar video start from finish. And the podcast. Remember I sent you a video? Oh, my. Uh, yes, bro, when we were driving home. <laughs> in the f- podcast, dude. Was naming every single one of your videos from the first f-ing episode. Wait, who, I need to bro. get in touch with this kid, bro. Wait, no, what no, is no. the podcast called? I need to like. No, you. To I'm sure he's a great kid. You know. Yeah. I'm sure he's great. I, I'm having a brain fart, so if I forgot who it was, <laughs> uh, bro. There was there was a few <laughs> there was a few episodes we listened to. You might have to edit this. Kid might have. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> This is just so funny, bro. We were driving, I, it, listening to that? I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's as funny to mention it now, but in in the in the at the point in time, it's you pitch black. We're crawling. all f-ing tired, covered in mud, hadn't caught a gar, and we're just listening to this kid name off every single one of your f-ing video titles. <laughs> bro, we're and I dead felt at brain this point. Dead. I was like, what the f- is going on, oh, bro? Th- that night was, it was so, so rough funny, though. because, like, I think that was the night before I got hooked, and we yeah. were driving home. I, I'm over here. Oh, there it is. You look at episode look at the name. thirteen. That's what's up, baby. Episode thirteen. That's you made it. You got kids. You got kids, shit, dude. Thirty-eight minutes long. You got kids not yeah, doing their all, homework. Yeah, all the podcast names. Naming off all of your videos. This kid. That's legendary. He didn't study for his social media class. Social media. For real. Social histories class. No, no, no. But uh, we were driving home that night still, and I, I had fallen asleep, and. I'm thinking everyone's dead. Like, I'm thinking you are so dead. Oh, I was dead inside. And, but somehow, I thought you would have fallen asleep while driving. But there's this pond behind my house, and there was there's this oh. joke that we mentioned about it, how there's alligators a, in it. It's not a joke. It isn't a joke, you actually. You always say, well, no, no, no. first time I passed, you're like, you know there's alligators in there, right? No, like, no, no, no. I didn't say it like that. No, that's what happened. So I was, I was behind the house, and you never see alligators in Texas. And sure enough, there's a gator in this pond. And... I had uh, then heard uh, apparently someone else saw it too, who lived down the street from me. Also, and it's like an eight foot alligator. No way! It is. I Shut swear, it's f- f- it is. <laughs> so I I saw it and <laughs> I put out chicken to catch this thing. Texas Parks and Wildlife. That was a joke. But uh, yeah, so no, we're driving home and somehow like the, that morning, John sends me a video before he gets here, just sitting out by the pond. Hey, I'm looking for gators over here while he's standing by the pond. And it's at this point like... I was making fun of you. Yeah, that's what you're doing. It's like 2 a.m. I'm asleep. I get woken up. John's like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Runs out of the car. I'm like, oh, shit, bro. Did we hit someone? I look up. He's running out with his phone flashlight. Runs. We're stopped by the pond. He runs He runs above it. I think I see a gator. I think I see a gator in the pond. It's 2 a.m. and I just woke up. I don't even know how you have energy to move. And he's running out there. I get out because I'm just like, I'm hysterically laughing. I get out and walk towards him. John hits a 40-yard dash in reverse. I'm like, where is he going? Runs out into the middle of the highway, grabs construction cones, throws them in the bed, goes, I'm going to cone your ass and gets back in the truck. I I think I screamed, boot gang or something like that. And, uh, uh, then you run out of the car when you get here and you launch them over the fence into the pond. Yeah. Um, they're yours now. Yeah, they're, no, they're in front of the mini house. Um, oh, I didn't I have... See those. I didn't yeah, have those energy. are John's cones. I had no energy that night, but just enough to f*** with you. Yeah, I was just passed enough. out. I was like, 
think bro, I could that was, squeeze it up. Yeah, that was also part of our drive home from the car fishing trip. That was fun. So I, I, that, that's the cool thing about those trips with other people, especially you, is oh. that even if the fishing sucks, there's always, like, <laughs> hilarious <laughs> moments that happen that generally I can look back at. The and, whole and trip I'm, was just funny, bro. Oh, my God. From uh, start to finish, from the time that I bought the boat to the time that you passed out in the parking lot. You still own that boat? Yeah, you want to buy it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to offer, like, a couple. Yeah, you, I don't know if you want that boat. No one wants that boat. Yeah, I still own it. I gotta, I'm gotta. i actually going to build it out. I'm going to make it a cool river boat. Really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know no. what we really should do? We need to do another one of these podcasts, but we'll just get a little bit of a alcohol in the mix for John, and this would be a whole movie. I was hoping that's oh what this was. Oh my gosh, I was bro, that would be hilarious. Vodka. By the way, bro, you need to change your filter. What the <laughs> is in here, man? I'm drinking somebody's dandruff right now. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> what the fuck, dog? I just look down. I'm like, I've already finished it. So he's got metal is in his ass. Mike's swinging in his face. <laughs> I, I go to the sink. <laughs> no I go, water. is this one clean? Eh. <laughs> I mean, it, it pairs nicely with the dead arowana aroma that is just wafting yep. in my we fucking nose right now. Dead arowana slime. Just on the drinking couch. some of your heavy metal here. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I'll bring my goodness. own fucking water <laughs> next time. I'm sorry. That was so. Weird. <laughs> I gotta pump the brakes. Um, yeah, so that's one thing I wanted to bring up, Paul. I wanted to see if maybe you had any restraining orders on folks, because if you did, that was going to be my first guess. Probably oh, him. Um, anyone. <laughs> yeah, can I... Is there, like, a conjoined restraining <laughs> order that we can get yeah, on? Yeah, 100%. God. Um, I have got, like, notes that I've got just little... I mean, these will probably last many podcasts. Yep. Um, but I've got a lot of stories that I would love to share. But I think that rather than sharing my stories, I want to hear something that happened to you paul maybe recently maybe not so recently you've never talked about i think the the, the you got your crazy neighbors that was that was yeah that was revealing. Good i'm i'm cool that we could break that uh but i want to hear about something else it doesn't even have to be like related to what you do something else yeah yeah like you're breathing in that mic yeah <laughs> like i could hear something what am I trying to Okay, so like for example, like I've got a story. This story is just called. So much goes on. This story is just called. I'll give you an example: puking blood in Nantucket. So that's a story that I'd, I'm, I'll share at some point. But I, I want to hear something that maybe you have. Puking blood in Nantucket. I, might, I mean, there's doesn't have to involve uh, blood or Nantucket. What's something? Um, maybe something happened between y'all. Y'all have known each other for a while. Which, by the way, I'm I did sorry. Did just buy a new truck. I saw that. Yeah. C71. We're gonna fully build it. No. It's a six cylinder, uh, six six liter, freaking Denali. Denali. Oh, it's a HD. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. It's a it's a badass truck. Those Denalis are nice. That that is a. That I'm is fully building this mother. Like I told you, with my cars and trucks, yeah. I love building them. Yeah. I got. We're doing it, the whole nine yards. I don't want to spoil it. Don't spoil it. Yeah. But save it for save it for. Yeah, the we course. got we got a twenty five by fourteen, twenty four by fourteen forces American forces on her. Wow. She's a beaut. That is Four inch lift. You're gonna be rolling around like a Florida jit in that thing. Mm -hmm. Are you yeah. gonna jitify it, or are you just gonna keep it Paul style? Jitify. Want to see what it's gonna look like? Yeah, I'll show you a picture. I feel you so can pop this picture up on the screen too if you want. Oh wow! Yeah, isn't that sick? That's jitified. Jitified. Not too jitified. It looks good. I no, like it looks. It. It's classy. It is classy. Yeah. Classy jitified. I like the chrome. Are you gonna keep the chrome on it? Yeah, it's yeah. what well, matches the car. Yeah, you gotta so keep. The, yeah, the wheels. Feet. The wheels match the chrome on the Denali. Yeah, Denali's well, nice. Life, I could. I could start here. Life's crazy, man. You know. Tell me life, something. Tell me something. Tell me something that. Oh. Like just pull some shit your ass. Something that f***ing wild happened. Hmm. I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but I'm, I'm curious. Oh, I mean. <clears throat> no, this, I already talked about real estate. Yeah. That's it. And that's all that I've been doing. I'm single now. Oh, are you? <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's How long had you been in a relationship for? Three years. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. In a year, it won't be. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good already. Chill. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. How long did it take to just kind of? Uh, a couple weeks. Nice. Yeah. That's great. I have utmost respect. Still. Still. You know, very mutual. That's but, awesome. But uh, yeah. Learned a lot. How's it feel? Uh, great. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. And feel like I, I, I could accomplish a lot. 
Yeah. You know, I have well, a just, I mean, it's not a open mindset. This isn't a slight, but you do have more time probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For oh, sure. Yeah. You yeah, did. For sure. I mean, Which now would nice. be the time to take advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah. So single life's pretty crazy, a lot different. But, you know, I'm ready to go, baby. That's what's up, baby. The world has a lot to offer. Time to be asexual for a little bit. Huh? What? Or, I mean, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, what I no. meant to say was <laughs> not asexual. Uh, single. Brenton, when he single. Heard, Brenton, when he heard the news, was oh, I excited. was ecstatic. I was in Florida the next day, really? same day actually. Nice. Same day. You sh- he was trying to rekindle the relationship. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is our, this is my shot. Uh, yeah, no life. <laughs> life throws a lot of curveballs yeah. at you, man. You know this too, and sure. so do you, of course. Life sure. throws a lot of curveballs, but everything mm-hmm. is everything happens for a reason. One, yeah. two, as long as you learn from. Everything that happens, it should never happen again, at least to the extent that it did happen. I agree. And yeah. I think you know, a life without curveballs is take, boring. Yep. Yeah, exactly. You gotta, you gotta learn. learn. How are you supposed to grow? You gotta and live and learn. If, you're, not, if yeah. you're constantly comfortable, you're never gonna grow. No. So you know that it, it opened a lot of doors for me. I I feel uh, like I gotta like I have a lot more time to do what I've always wanted to do, and that's work my absolute ass off. Yeah. And um, yeah, like I said, no disrespect. It, you did the classic break up and buy a truck move. That's sick. Yeah. That's cold. Yeah, I'm just like that's like there's a country song about that. I'm sure. <laughs> like I probably I got broke up. Probably, and got probably. A I wouldn't up. doubt it if there was a country song. Yeah, if not, we could fill that void. We could, dude. Yeah. We can make a song. I don't think that's. We can make mean. a song. We can make. A I got idea. the I got the beats. No, you got the think. vocals. Come on now. <clears throat> All right. I mean, don't you got? The <laughs> I'm gonna brag, but I mean, I feel like <laughs> you ever hear Brendan sing before? He's got some no. vocals. No. Baby, lock them doors and turn them lights down low. Holy shit. Man. We got uh, this, bro. You, I watched something arouse right there. <laughs> it, was the the, second. It, it was the hair on my ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Standing up right now. Yeah. Oh, my, oh, my, bad. my maybe bad. We, wow. maybe we Didn't mean to get everyone excited. I know. Maybe we get on to another topic of non-ball sack, huh? Okay. Sorry right. about that. That's fine. I can't get a street bike. That's a great topic. My wow. parents will not let me get a street bike. You've always... But you. I mean, <clears throat> I feel like you shouldn't be on a street bike. Do you want one? No, I would die. Yeah, I was going to say... Most people oh, okay. shouldn't <laughs> have one. I don't no, think I, I should I, have one either. I, I have not bought one specifically for the sole purpose of I would know in within seven days of me owning that bike, I would they make a horrible decision of going 155 to 200 miles an hour. I was going to say, yeah. And yep. getting killed. They The, the thing about it's a bikes. It's a death trap. <laughs> I've had countless friends. Yep. Countless friends. I've had only two that actually died walked away oh, or one died. one walked away god dang near death yeah and the other one died wow. um getting chased by a cop so wow yeah so like it's it's guaranteed you're almost guaranteed it's not if it's when the the thing and about that's yeah. the problem the thing about bikes it's is, adrenaline bro it is adrenaline but the but so like so is car, so i get it from a car standpoint and i'm so obviously you do too but from a car's like you know you're talking about a car like oh my car goes zero to 60 and you know let's exact let's let's go on the let's Go on the more faster side, like three seconds, two point nine seconds. That is ridiculously fast. Yep. Most an average bike that costs really maybe a quarter, if not like, dude, they're like cheap. an eighth of what a car would. would yeah, go, no, they're really can not go expensive. Way faster than that. Mm-hmm. the The speed is instant, and yep. you can reach up to one hundred and eighty, one hundred and ninety. Yeah. The problem is, bro, is it's without not, you know. Regardless, you hit anything at that <clears throat> speed, you're dead. Right, car, bike, whatever. I Rock. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was but say, you but a, that's a big problem. crack in the road, and you're gone. Oil slip, rock, and you're crack. on a, you're on a public road, dude. You know, Who you're knows? Not a controlled. It's you're going at night. There could be a, strip. something that fell off out of a car, and you yeah. just rock that thing. Yeah. You mean I've hit all the time. That's what I'm my saying. Car. Yeah. So it's what's the fastest you've ever been in a car? Hundred. Probably like a hundred and. I mean, all my has got limiters on it. It's governor, so I think like a hundred and. Eight maybe something like that. Pretty uh, fast. I'm sure you've gone a lot faster. Yeah. How much faster? Uh, I, I'm not gonna say because I know my parents will watch. <laughs> okay, you can. We'll talk. We'll ask you later. But it, it's Sorry, mom. And Eighty dad. miles an hour. I'm still alive. Eighty miles an hour. That's what he just told me. And when we 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 cut it out, and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, What's something big you have planned? Whether it's your building, whether remember we're talking about we're gonna go to Bali very soon. Uh, I didn't mention that to you. Now I am. So uh, that's not happening. Yes, it is. You. We talked about this on the Trinity. I know that's a place where you kind of days off and you don't know what you're saying. But we we talked about how we would go to Bali together and we conquer Christ. Bali. Conquer Bali. <laughs> Bali would. Be that nuts. sounds aggressive. You need to go. You guys both need to go. Dude, that is some content. 
Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah. I'd be swimming through content in there. Um, I'd be finding all sorts of videos. Bro, you'd be brush stroking through that content, dude. Yeah. I'd have six videos per day. Yeah, you would. Yeah, f- yeah, and you still have time to to, re- to chill. To well, relax. that's the problem. We need to go for like three weeks. You have to relax. The first week would be straight grind. First week and a half be full grind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get at least fifteen videos out of it. No problem. And then the last week and a half, would you guys w- w- pump how, up the jam? Pump it up. You know, dude, it's so cheap. I don't know about now, but when we went, it was like so inexpensive. Yeah, it, I've heard. It it's, I've heard it's the same uh, way. Still, I heard it's just. I mean, it's just flights that are expensive. You know. Yeah. It's like two grand a person. It's the same way. I went to Rota one time. That was nuts. Where's that? CNMI. I have no idea where that's at. Mariana si- Mariana Silence. If I could say that correctly, it's been so long. I'm. Well, give me like our general region. Mariana's. Oh God. Rota. I don't want uh, to offend anyone. It's Mariana. It's Marion. <laughs> Mariana Trench. <laughs> yeah, is that it? No. 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 Oh. It's Mariana. S- it's <laughs> CNMI. Is that her? Is she located right about there? Mariana Trench. That's like the deepest point. In the Mariana's. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Some little tiny block. Northern Mariana Islands. Okay, so I was right. That doesn't was answer right. my question. Where is that? Like, Give me like a general, like, is it is it like South Pacific? You know where, do you know where uh, Guam is? Uh, Saipan? See. That's my fault. I don't know where any of that's. Are right, you want to hear the flights just to get to this place to put it in perspective? This cheap or Rota, expensive. Rota expense is like twenty two hundred bucks. Rota's oh well, like that big. On the map, you can't even see it. It's only like three hundred people on a, a three some three something on wow. the map. Less than three thousand. I know that it might be three hundred or it's three thousand. I can't remember, but everyone is so friendly. The most beautiful place ever. And how'd you hear about this? this seems so I weird. went on a trip with Robert Arrington. Oh. Deer meat for dinner. Yeah, deer meat for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, John, I would tell you where it is, but it is in the middle of the f- ocean. Literally, and literally nowhere. There's nothing by it except for maybe What's about the ocean Pacific. Um, y- no. Let me zoom in. A little I dropped bit and find out. So I'm not the one to ask. Me too. The anyway. Philippine Sea. Oh, okay, cool. So, Got so, it. so I you know that I is? flew. I sort flew of. from a little here, above Australia. From here to Texas. From Texas to Hawaii. From Hawaii to Guam. From Guam to Saipan. From Saipan to Rota. Thirty-one hours. Did you just smell like? By the time you were done? 31 hours. I'm going to smell worse than this podcast is over. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying an hour and 20 in this f- hot ass. Yeah. It's worse oh. than all the flights there. It, so you enjoyed it. The you traveling was f- miserable. But the to get to get. So there, have you done much traveling? The To get there? I w- yes. And, and no. Okay. I want to do more. Yeah. I was going to um, say, you sound excited about it. You should I love, bro, I love traveling. But now, um, I would say, I wish I would have spent a lot more time Focusing and enjoying myself on that trip. Take some time and chill. I, that's yeah. one of my biggest regrets in my entire life, and it always will haunt me. When because I was on that trip, I never, I was so zoned into YouTube. It's at not the every time. day you get to go to. And like even when we there. stopped in Saipan, the traveling Wherever was very very is. fun. We had a great group too. I had a great great group of guys that we were with. So, um, but I had a blast. Don't get me wrong, but I wish I would have focused more on like being in the trip you gotta soak it in soaking it in i didn't do enough of it i was so focused on youtube i sat in the hotel room editing half the time i should have dropped those videos the videos can wait i should have enjoyed my time at a third yeah the editing thing i think has got to take a like bro plane ride back or when you get back i did not i spent so much time in the hotel room and it's because i literally was sitting over this beautiful ocean where it went from reef two feet of reef and it dropped straight to like 800 feet wow you can catch marlin off the rock. It's like an alto or something like that. Yeah, it was like uh, you were waiting on the island to just kind of sink. Oh. I mean, it's not that sketchy, but like yeah, it, was, it was freaking uh, beautiful, dude. In Sudan, there were similar scenarios where we'd walk the reef, and, and, and right there is 200 feet of water. Yeah, it's like, How is that even possible? Did oh, we skip the cool. what's next question? Did we, did we yeah, that? we did. Um, okay. What's That's next for you, John? Oh, Jesus. I forgot we were talking about that. Yeah. What's next for content, substance-wise? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, what's the next big thing? I got a quick answer for me. I'm going to build my farm to the fullest extent. Cool. There's nothing better. Are you going to open it up to the public? <laughs> Can't. Why? Residential. Can I, I come? Could, I could, yeah, of course. All right, cool. I can do private, private tours. Private probably. showings? Yeah. Get but some, like, some, some, like, uh, some Arabic... Princess kid wants to send you just charge a ton of money. <laughs> <laughs> really Dude, wants to see Paul I've go had, far I've, as far. You know what's crazy? I've never said it on camera because why say it? But like I've had a lot of people, a lot of people that reached out to me through Cameo and through Instagram. Really? I don't charge no one anything. That's cool. That's nice. You Bir- ha- you've birthdays, got a big heart. Birthdays. I had some. I had someone come the other day. Yeah, just like if they reach out to me and it's. I would say this now and people are gonna start blowing my sh- up. But <laughs> I was like, gonna say careful. Yeah, but like I mean it. Like you know, I'm talking to the parents. They 
you pay for a cameo and they're like, Hey, we're going to be in Florida, September, you know, something. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm like, yeah, sure. Stop by. Why not? Yeah. Why what not? about you, John? Um, or should I say, what about us? What about us? I forgot. It's an us thing now. Uh, yeah. I like to keep this podcast rolling. I think it'd be fun whether we do it, just you and I get a guest, you know, like appreciate Paul coming through here and talking with us. That's nice. I know it's a lot of work. Uh, both of our brains are everywhere. But yeah. it sounds like maybe you're kind of on that same wavelength, huh? You got a little something going on. I do, too. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. Um, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Podcast. Uh, I think I want to get on this this role of doing a little bit more unique content, keeping the series that we're doing rolling, casting concrete yeah. type stuff. I'd like to, you know. Dude, those videos are baller, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah. I enjoy that. Oh, this is a great thing to bring up. Not to interrupt you at all, but You're I'll be cool. quick. I don't watch anyone's YouTube videos besides literally the two people sitting here and maybe like two others. No sh- No one, bro. I don't watch YouTube like that. Wow. I watch very rarely. I, I love watching. Thank you. That is humbling. I, w- I love watching like Danny Duncan. And yeah, I don't um, watch either of y'all's. Like, but Bar- <laughs> <laughs> like Baron Levine. No, like I, I love all those kids that are like our age just yeah. around. Like I love it. Because it's refreshing. It's refreshing. Yeah. yeah, it is. And it's different than what I do on a daily basis. So it's nice to watch them do that. When I go back to watching like stuff that we do every day, I watch this idiot and then I watch John for fishing. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's I, I, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I think I wanted to do this tour soon called Road to the South. Um, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> good, I, yo, this podcast will go on for two hours. It will go yeah. what, because of Brent, though. Yeah. <laughs> right when we're about right, to right, end, so I'm sorry. First off, thank you, Paul. I appreciate that, man. Of course, yeah. I, 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 thank you guys for having listen, me. Listen, I, I make content for people to say like that. I want people to enjoy it. If people don't enjoy it, people, if it doesn't get you know, oh, good feedback, Great then, I, then I, then I, Hate it, and I, then I want to. Yeah, no, delete it, it. dude. Some of the stuff. I mean, do I, the funny thing is, both me and Brent. I watched you way before I knew you, way before I knew you. Yeah, like I watched. I watched some of your fish, and uh, I didn't. I haven't watched a ton of like the the new stuff. Yeah, the, the new stuff. But, yeah, but I watched. Yeah, it's some crazy. Of the previous stuff. This when goes for everything, bro. Like yeah. I used to watch John. I watched Robert Arrington. I watched. Yeah. I mean, I met so many creators now. Like or the like, always dude, stop tour them. where we hit every state. That would be also a good one. He's having his own <laughs> podcast right now. Literally, totally on his own. We're just gonna have another camera <laughs> set up just for Brent because he's having his own. <laughs> we're thinking about it. <laughs> Not nah, the never stop tour. The always stop tour, and we stop at every lake we get to. <laughs> never stop tour. Every body of water you pass, you have to fish. <laughs> Should we do? Let's that do would it. Be freaking good. Is that the next thing? <laughs> that would be. Fire. Are you gonna pay for my? My. You got it. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get admitted happening. to a Caleb, hospital. Caleb, get ready. If that every single body of water you pass, highway, no matter what, you gotta just pull over. <laughs> I love how John's. Head I love hit how the you. I love how this dropped. podcast started with like, yeah, man, like with what you do is very difficult. I got an idea. Let's make it really f- hard. <laughs> Let's make it worse. So since I know that fishing sucks and I got out of fishing, I got a really good idea. So for when you. I mean, we pass a puddle from rain. <laughs> we gotta stop and throw a lure in it, dude. Could you imagine? There's bro, no going around. I'm any like, body that's of like water. a Mr. Beast video, bro. Like I'm literally. Forced to fish, like just sh- little tiny <laughs> holes, and it's with Brenton too. So I'm like, okay. I'm well, like really on the, the thing, edge. Bro, of the cliff. If you're with Brenton, you don't even need to catch fish. <laughs> You'll still get a video no matter what. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I got you. That's we a good point, bro. Honestly. All right, so we're doing the always. Stop My whole tour. video last Dude, time look was at just the wires close. for this. Yeah, Paul so We should sweating. We should cut this off, Brenton. Let's go get some word. food, bro. Yeah, let's go. So we get yeah, some food. John hit his head in the podcast. I dropped. Um, imagine again. Do it again. Get that thing to drop before well, it's we. Not, dude, it's not my fault. Your studio is janky. Hey, cool. this is a studio. I happen to have one. Also, what in the Should living ghost? Sorry, I was about to roast you. I got to cool off a little bit. I'm sorry, Brent. Hey, Brent, I love you, man. Thank you for doing this podcast with me. Thank you, Paul, for coming and joining us on this podcast. I know you were really here for the that. podcast, but it still means a lot that you would come here, share a bit of li- little bit of your life. Um, hope we can do this again. If you guys have any uh, people that you want to see next time on the podcast, let us know. Drop a drop a he- freaking a uh, freaking heck in comment. I'm trying I mean, not to swear as much so we can get some. What, what platforms are we on now? Have we made it? Like That's your job. You're definitely on Brazzers. What? You're, whoa, whoa. Hold up. We're on no. Rumble. We're on Brazzers. all the alt-right. Brazzers. 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 Yes, please. Can we do Brazzers? Yeah. Only fans. That's um, awesome. Uh, hey, speaking of only fans, can we continue the pod for a little longer? I no. just recently got on OnlyFans. Oh, goodness I'm gracious. Hungry, Did Paul you see sweating. that? 
What? You see, I got on OnlyFans? Yeah, you told me. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm on OnlyFans. He's posting which, cheap pictures. I feel like you would want to subscribe to. That's why I, I get let those you know. for free. So, um, damn, chill. That's true. <laughs> I didn't know you stuff. think yeah, ahead like I that. I can't imagine what people think watching some of the stuff we say. <laughs> That they're either like laughing their ass off or they're, or they're like, like oh, these Jesus. kids are whack. whack. Like, oh, honey, you cannot watch them anymore when they're yeah. watching us I at the dinner table. I thought he was table. like a family friendly like channel where he'd talk about his farm animals. No, but he's got a sick, twisted mind <laughs> and you are turning that off right now. <laughs> that's, what, that's why I like the podcast is it gives us an opportunity yeah. to go back a layer. My that content's people don't always see. PG. Yeah. Mine, so, is, mine is generally PG, but sometimes I do stupid shit. Mine's but, not. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean. Yeah, so hopefully we're on all those platforms we mentioned, except for the most important ones. Thanks like, uh, who's going to set it up for was us? Was that Apple? Uh, I think just Apple, Spotify. Spotify. And That's it. If you use anything other than that, you shouldn't listen to this. Literally we go f- you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't go. Uh, I uh, he didn't mean that. We didn't so. mean that. So, But, yeah, shout out to everyone who watched, too. It's so, always good getting visual representation. Uh, buds it. with Benefits. Uh, buds with Benefits is pretty... It's pretty tight, but we'll have to see what the people also. Yeah, say. no, y'all, y'all do really have to drop I mean, some comments. We need to obviously name the podcast something to drop the first episode. So. I know it's ready to go. We're, I'm gonna get it up today. I'm going to get, get some good internet. Um, you are? Yeah, it's it's, it's up, dropping today. It's going up. Tomorrow. Did you log into the account? It's going up tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, "What's the password?" <laughs> something. Oh, shit. I almost just <laughs> you almost gave the anyway, password I made away anyway. from motherfucker. We're done. Cutting out. We're going to get some tacos and margaritas. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.